Well, good Monday afternoon, Living Water Church. Uh, yesterday, guys, I was just so incredibly blessed to be able to sit here and and not only not preach, and uh, that's just kind of the odd thing, and it's what I was talking about yesterday. If you asked me two years ago to get up and preach, there would just be no possible way I would even consider it. I just hated the fact, the thought of it, and um, the first couple times I started getting up and, and preaching again here at the church, it was um, probably one of the most terrifying things I had done. I, I shared the story with you guys that um, probably nine years ago now, Derek asked me to preach here at the church, and after that I told him I would never preach again here and, and look at me now. But. Um, it was an interesting thing because yes, I, I did enjoy the time off and I, I needed a, a week uh, just to kind of reset and get some refreshing done that I needed to, to have um, some personal time um, in the Word. But uh, it was also a little tug on Sunday morning of uh, a desire to be up and to be speaking and to be preaching and, and to be proclaiming the Word of the Lord. And um, to me, it just showed me what a blessing and what a change God has wrought in my heart to uh, want to speak his word, to want to proclaim uh, the things that are in his word. And, and while one day um, I did not have any desire or any intent to do this, uh, he has changed and transformed me um, and made me into his image, uh, the tool that he has uh, designed me for, the thing he has crafted me to do. So. Um, it is just such a blessing and such a joy to walk out the things that God has called us into and, and live a life that is so full because we are doing the work that God has called and created us to do. So it's just a joy and you guys blessed me so richly yesterday um, in what you did for my me and my family in the video and, and in your gifts and, and so many other things. And guys, I was just so touched and um, just uh, all day it resonated with me. It still is that, um, that I live in a uh, an area that God has called me into, where I have been drawn to a church that God has drawn me to, and I have been able to be connected and um, and plugged into a, a church that is truly a family. And um, in the passage that we are going through in Mark, and uh, Steve touched on right before that yesterday, in that passage, uh, he's talking about the uh, the folly of what the scribes did. When they uh, come and they say, hey, we have this great plan, and I loved how Steve rolled that out, this, this great plan, this great idea, this great mindset we have that you're casting out demons by the power of Beelzebub, by the power of Satan, you're casting out demons, and it's just nonsense. It's just utter nonsense of what's going on here in Mark at this point because they're so furious with Jesus. But then the very next story that we read in Mark, I'm going to read it to you. And, um, and when I read this this morning again, it just really tied into me about what happened yesterday and what you guys did for me and my family yesterday. So this is um, Jesus' mother and Jesus' brothers come and seek him at the synagogue that he's talking at. This is in Mark chapter 2, verse 31. And his mothers and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him, and they called to him. And a crowd was sitting around him, as we see with Jesus all the time. There's always a crowd around him. And they said to him, your mother and your brothers are outside seeking you. And this is not the response that we want from Jesus. This response that's coming next is not a response that moms or brothers or sisters want to hear when they say, hey, come out, come outside. Your mom and your brothers are outside. Listen to what Jesus says. And looking about at those who sat around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of God, he is my brother and sister and mother. And it's not probably the response that Jesus' biological mom and um, and really in that response that I don't know if there was any hurt there. I don't know if, that, if there was anything there that how, how dare he say, this is not my son. How, how dare he say, that's not my mom. That's not my brothers. But everyone around me who's doing the will of the father, these are my mother. This is my brother sitting next to me, the one that's doing the will of the Father. And, and I don't think that it was meant in a negative way against his own mom or his own brothers, but it was meant in such a way that the Lord binds us together in spirit to one another that I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but I'm close to some of my family. I'm distant from some of my family, but I am closer to people that here at this church, at Living Water Church, than I ever have been to any or the vast majority of my biological family. And it's an, uh, an odd thing to start to think about because the world is so focused upon family and, and family meaning the biological nature of our families. But really what God calls us into and what we can read about throughout in the Bible in other areas and, and what Jesus is really saying here is that when we 
um, have this transformation that comes over our lives where we understand that we are truly a sinful, sinful people who has sinned against a tri-holy God. When we, when we get that understanding really locked into our minds and we realize, I so desperately need a Savior, and we turn to Jesus Christ as that Savior, when that happens, we are gifted with something that's so powerful. We are gifted with the Holy Spirit, God in us. And that gifting, guys, binds us together. Because when I sit around a room, when I look out on a Sunday morning, and I see each and every one of my friends there, I have to remember that their spirit within them is the very same, the exact same spirit that lives within me. And it's so binding, and it's so um, much deeper than a blood connection. It's so much deeper than a, a biological connection here on this earth. We guys have the spirit of the Most High God reigning within our mortal bodies. And I have the exact same, not a piece, not a portion, not a, a small bit. I have the exact same spirit, the exact same power reigning within my body as you do if you are a child of God. And guys, that's what binds us together. That's what draws us together. This is what Jesus is referencing when he's saying, this guy sitting next to me who's doing the will of my father is going to have the spirit within him. That's my brother. And it's not my brother biologically, it's not my blo brother by blood, it's my brother by the Spirit. And that comes through the blood, the shedding blood of Jesus Christ, which he knew for well he was about to go and have that happen. He knew exactly what he was doing as he was heading to the cross. And he's referencing over and over, time and time again, his deity, and also the connection that we can have, the, the strength that we can have, the, the growth that we can have, and, and really the life that we can have because of the work that he's about to do on the cross. So guys, hold that message of truth. And, and I just really, really felt that yesterday as you guys blessed me and my family. And, and I really felt, guys, this is my family here at this church, at Living Water Church. This is my family. And it's a family, guys, that's so beautiful because we're bound together in the spirit. And it's a family that will endure throughout all of eternity. A, a family that will go not just the next 10 years, not just the next 20 years, but a family that will live out its life throughout all time throughout all existence, in all of eternity, under the reign, the majesty, and the glory of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm just so pumped, so excited, so blessed by you guys and all that you uh, are doing and pumping and pouring into this church, the support that you have for me and my family, and, and uh, the love that I see in each and every one of you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So uh, thank you guys so much for the blessing that you have given to us. So um, we have some announcements coming up, and I want to go through those real quick with you guys. A really exciting is our opera. Operation Christmas Child Packing Party is coming up really, really soon. It's two Fridays from now, not this upcoming Friday, but the following Friday, we're gonna meet here at the church, 6 p.m., and we are gonna attempt to pack 200 Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. So be ready and uh, be prepared to come that night, guys. Put it on your calendars, make sure you're here. It is an awesome event, it's just super fun. Lots of fellowship, we get to pack boxes, we get to pray over them, and it's just a fun and exciting night. Uh, we're gonna eat, so this upcoming Sunday, there is a, uh, uh, there's a fly. This upcoming Sunday, there is a sign-up sheet on the back table that you can sign up if you'd like to bring something to eat on that Friday night. We're going to eat together. We're going to fellowship together. We're going to pack shoe boxes together, and we're going to pray together. So it's going to be an awesome night, and we're going to have Christmas music playing. So that's going to really ramp it up. So come out two Fridays from now, 6 p.m. We're going to have our Operation Christmas Child Packing Party. And that being said, um, I think most of you have purchased and brought in your items that you said you would get this past Sunday, but if you don't have anything, if there's anything outstanding, uh, bring it to the church one night this week. There's uh, events going on most nights this week, so you can call me or text me, and uh, I can let you know when people are going to be here. Come and drop them off so we can get everything sorted and ready to get put out on tables next week for that event. So. That is what is coming up this next two weeks, guys. And, and uh, we have some events coming up in December, which I'll just remind you about. And that is on the December 11th, we are gonna have the Parade of Lights. And uh, we just found out that it is actually gonna be a drive-through event. So we are gonna get some people from the church in a trailer and set it up and, and some handouts for the church. And we will need some people there to staff it. But unfortunately, uh, this year, we're not gonna all be able to be involved because they are limiting to, I, I believe, 10 people. So I'll roll some more details out when, when we get that, but you guys can always drive through and and uh, support uh, in that manner so 
And the second thing is the day after that. So that's December 11th, December the 12th at 6 p.m. We are having our annual members business meeting. Everyone is welcome. Members will only be able to vote at that meeting and it's gonna go over some uh, new leadership structure within the church, some new vision that is rolling out and our yearly annual budget. So um, put those things in your calendars, be prepared and be ready for those uh, things. And we'll roll out some more as we get closer to those, some more details. So I pray that you guys all have a blessed week. If you guys need anything at all, my number is in the description below and uh, I will um, be praying for each and every one of you that have called and contacted me um, over the last week. I know many of you have just with uh, life and uh, struggles and, and hardships and, and things going on within your lives. And um, I just cannot thank you enough for the blessing that you've poured out onto me and my family, um, despite everything that's going on with within your own personal lives. And um, just tremendous to see the heart of service that's here in this church. So I love you guys, praying for you. And uh, let me know if you need anything at all this week. I'll see you. Bye.